Hi, my name's Greg. I'm one of the arboriculture lecturers at Suffolk Rural. Today I'm going to take a walk in the woods and introduce you to some of the things you might learn in the new academic year. And then we'll take a look at some climbing stuff. What is arboriculture and forestry? Arboriculture is the cultivation, management and study of individual trees, shrubs, vines and other perennial woody plants. It looks at how these plants grow and respond to cultural practices and to their environment. It includes techniques such as selection, planting, training, fertilization, pest and pathogen control, pruning, shaping and removal. Forestry involves managing, using, conserving and repairing forests, woodlands and associated resources for human and environmental benefits. Both these industries are very physical. They require a high level of fitness and a strong work ethic. Some of the urban forestry courses Suffolk Rural offer are the Level 2 Technical Certificate in Forestry and Arboriculture and the Level 3 Advanced Technical Extended Diploma in Forestry and Arboriculture. Suffolk Rural also offer a 10-week Level 3 Tree Surgery course. The Level 2 qualification covers the skills you will need to progress to further learning and training or to enter the world of work within the forestry or arboriculture industries. You will be introduced to topics such as health and safety for the land-based industries, tools and equipment, environment and conservation, some plant science, tree classification and ID, tree establishment and tree and woodland management. You will also be required to complete 150 hours of work experience. Achievement of this qualification demonstrates to an employer that you have the necessary technical skills and knowledge they are looking for when recruiting for a trainee. The Level 3 qualification gives you the opportunity to learn about and build on the essentials of safe working with equipment and machinery, chainsaw use and planting and establishment of trees. You will be able to undertake a range of estate maintenance skills. You will study soil and plant science as well as tree science and you will learn about tree pests and diseases. You will then choose to specialise in either forestry or arboriculture. Again, you will be required to complete 150 hours of work experience per year. This two-year qualification exposes you to the whole industry and the opportunities within it. On completion, it's likely that you will enter the industry by working for an arboriculture or forestry company. Okay, so let's take a look at some kit an arborist might have. Here's a kit bag, climbing rope, throw line, lid, harness and first aid kit, lanyard, silky, foot ascender, three-way locking carabiners, pulleys, gloves, friction cord, cambium saver. Before carrying out any tree work, a risk assessment is discussed and recorded. Once measures are taken to reduce any risks and a work plan made, work can start. Here I'm installing a throw line. This is one way to put in your climbing lines. I'm attaching my climbing line using a pile hitch and a series of half hitches. And then it's just a case of pulling it up and over. In the beginning, you will learn some fundamental climbing knots, such as this bowline, here with a barrel stopper knot. The barrel knot prevents the bowline from becoming undone. Here is a Blake's hitch. Once you have learnt a few knots, you will learn some basic climbing systems. Here is a split tail climbing system. You would then progress onto something like this hitch climber system which improves slack tending.
there's been a recent revision to the industry code of practice, one of the important changes being that climbers must have two anchor points at all times, while ascending, descending and working in a tree. Here I am making my way through the top of this black pine. There's often a great view to be found in the treetops. <laughs> 